Alright, so there is pork hamburg and uh, onions cooking in here. These little spatula slash spoon things are the best thing. You know, they don't melt, they don't, you know. Two dollars at Walmart are the exact same thing, but in red at Dollarama for two dollars. Greatest thing ever. So, cooking that, I've got some spices. So, in here, I've got some lentils, some red lentils, and some kidney beans. And, what just fell is this. You're going to need, like, a really two little holes. I think it's called a colander. I don't know, I'm French. Um, I'm going to smash them all up with this thing anyway. So, I mean, don't let you... Don't tell your kids, but it's extra protein, makes you feel full longer, it gives you fiber, it's good all the way around. I'm also chopping up some frozen cauliflower, throwing that in there. That again gives it some more meaty texture, makes it thicker. And then I have my chopped up mushrooms and peppers, and then my arch nemesis tomatoes, well, cans. Um, I, I had a yeah, it, it died. The motor died. And I have problems with my hands. These two fingers are, they have no strength. Um, years of medication. So, these, this is all I got for now. I can never do it. I just cut myself. I'm going to try it anyway. As for, I'm looking for one, but they're all like 40 something dollars. Walmart no longer has them or something. I don't know. That thing, best thing ever. Went unused for about 10 years because I bought it way back a long time ago and it just, I don't know. Now I'm using it. So, this is how you make a big, huge pot of spaghetti sauce that is no red meat, no dairy, no preservatives, no gluten, no soy, no nothing. Oh, and I'm also going to add um, some vegetable broth in there as well. But it's still in the fridge because I had it opened and it's warm, so I don't want to go bad. See y'all later. Yes, yeah, so while I do this, my little speaker plays YouTube and it's Emily Noel on there. So, this is as much as I can do for the cans. And why don't you watch me try to open them? Since, you know, let's just show everybody that we gotta do what we do in life. Okay, so it's my day off, so I don't have, whatever, I don't care. Somebody gave me the best compliment. They said that my boobs had shrunk because I lost that weight and that's the best thing ever. Uh, so, okay, so don't cut yourself. And um, you just got to try it. See, I won. So the meat is almost fully cooked. So I turned it down to really low. So it wouldn't burn, but I still want to make sure it's cooked thoroughly because, you know, let's be safe. You know what? This is actually a very good candy. <laughs> a very good can. Alright, so we plug this thing in. <laughs> I'm still not very used to using it, but if it stays in the water, it doesn't, or the sauce, or whatever, it just breaks and stuff. Oh, and if you take it out too much of it. Using this is a huge step for me, like mental health wise. Um, right out of college I got a really awesome job working in an R and D lab, which I could have made a great career out of if I didn't have anxiety and I wasn't so afraid of power tools. Anyway, the, just probably why I never used this thing before. But you know, just blend all of this. being this blended oh let me show you so when your tomatoes and your lentils and your kidney beans are that blended together no your children in the cauliflower stuff they'll never know don't tell them tell them it's spaghetti sauce and then I'll, I'll add 
my veggies. Oh, let's go check on the meat. So this is like a whole day thing. Kind of hard to do with one hand. But I always make sure this cook thoroughly. I mean, I have anxiety. I don't want to... It's not necessarily a bad thing to want your meat to be cooked thoroughly. And when it comes to pork hamburg, yeah, I know that's the wrong word for it, but um, I guess it's ground pork. Costco is the best place. You can get a huge thing. It makes me about five to six portions for about $18. But if you want to buy it at any other store, it only comes in single portions, and it's like seven bucks for a single portion. I don't have a card for Costco, but other members of my family, you know, they buy it, I pay them back. So that's going on. And for everybody out there that's going, lentils, they need to be cooked first. In this case, they don't because this sauce is going to simmer for like three hours, which is then going to fully cook them. And the lentils, after they're cooked, they disappear. They turn to mush. So no, your children or your husband or partner or people, you know, picky eaters will never see any of this. They'll never know. Don't tell them. All right, thanks. It's definitely gonna hold barred. This is me. And uh, I'm waiting, eBay. Anyway, whatever. So, the sauce. I'm making a mess. I know. Ah. Who cares if you make a mess? So, I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic. What? Teaspoon. Veggies and broth. Oh. Ava, I've been waiting for a call for like an hour and a half. Oh, there she is. All right, so that was extremely frustrating. I don't know why I bother dealing with eBay. I haven't in a very long time and I'm regretting it. So I did have time to clean up my mess while she made me yell at her. Because, God, they're dumb. I'm sorry, but... Ugh. But, yeah, I cleaned up my mess. Because, as far as I'm concerned, if you don't make a mess, you're not really cooking. And, you know, I'll wash all this up later. So, it's in there. Just simmering. Everything's just stirred. Again, I put a little bit of garlic and a little bit of spices. Not too much. I use that, that garlic in the jar. Alright, so I use this kind of garlic like in the jars. It's better, I mean I find it better than like powder because powder stuff one has preservatives and whatnot. And um, this is just, you know, an oil. It, it only keeps for so long but it gives you more of a taste of like actual garlic cloves and I mean, I have a hard time keeping onions in my fridge. So everything freezes in my fridge. so. And then I added a little bit of vegetable broth, and um, I put dates on them. Broth can stay in the fridge for two weeks, and I have a tendency, well, not tendency, I always forget how long things have been in there. So I put the date that I put it in the fridge so that I'll know if it's expired or not. And my little quick tip about broth is, for me, again, I need preservative free and all that kind of whatnot. The no name, this one, um, you know. Now, I'm not saying if you just go with, like, this brand, but generic brands, if you just look at the ingredients, um, I did on this one, and they happen to not have any preservatives either. If I go over to, you know, the health section part, and I buy, you know, vegetable broth that's organic and, and whatever, I don't necessarily need organic, I just need preservative-free and all that kind of whatnot, gluten-free, soy-free. This no-name stuff, generic stuff, has none of those things. But it's a dollar twenty-five regular, usually a dollar on sale. If you go to the health food section for the fancy label that has the exact same stuff on the inside, but it has a fancy label, it's like four bucks. So save yourself some money and buy no name. Let's look at my cupboards. I probably have some here too. Yeah, I have no name and everything. So I happen to have like the name because this one was on sale. It was eighty-eight cents per can. And yes, my nephew helped me count them out to four. He's amazing. But I sometimes buy, you know, the no-name tomato crush. They have the one with 
spices. It tastes just as good. They do the same thing. Um, I happen to know for a fact that they are the same thing. For a while back, now this is a long time ago, 20, my gosh, 25 years ago, um, they decided to take the old Captain Morgan rum plant, down where I'm from, and convert it into a tomato processing plant. And my dad, um, he played soccer with, for the guy who owned the place, so he started working there, and he was, you know, my dad's the kind of guy that, you know, if he hasn't worked 17 million hours in a day and is physically exhausted, doesn't understand that he didn't, you know, he, anyway. So he works really hard, and sometimes it gives him benefits that, you know, he got a good job. So yes, he worked in a plant, it was open for about two or three years, where they processed tomatoes. And, um, I guess maybe that's where I sort of kind of got my love for automation. I don't know. Ho oh, ho. It's a funny revelation. But, yes, and, um, it was funny, because there was one conveyor belt where they would put this particular label on, and the other belt had another label, and the third belt had the yellow no-name label. They all were made in the exact same spot, they all came from the exact same batch, they just had different brands, or different labels, so... Yeah. And this is where I keep all my noodles. These are rice noodles. They come in bags. So two bags fills the limit of up. And one bag is about three dollars. So I'm I'm happy with that. Three dollars. So it's about six dollars of the noodles. They're gluten free gluten free obviously. Brown rice. And I, I write on them, you know, how long to cook because I forget. And I happen to have a little bit of the fuselli I think I said that right. on a spiral urines that are different colors. And yep, they're gluten free and preservative free because for it to change colors they can just add some spinach in the green ones and some carrot puree to make them red in the other one. And that's okay with me. Alright, so my water is boiling. It's been a few hours. It's been simmering. For me, this is as much pasta as like one meal. For you, it can be whatever, but when it comes to losing weight in a healthy way, starving yourself isn't going to do anything. I mean, I know it's the whole right carbs thing. Do I know what they are? No. I just know that if you buy the rice pasta, you lose weight, right? I've lost like 60 pounds in January. And a little note, save electricity, save some money. I'm not on high. I'm not on high and my water is boiling. You do not need to put your stove on high to boil water. If it takes longer, I'm not, I don't think so. I never did the test, but you know. How am I supposed to know? All right, two things at once. Ah. Yes, you need to like stir it as soon as you put it in there. Cause if not, they'll stick together just like any other kind of pasta. The only thing that I have as a tip for any kind of gluten-free pasta is don't rinse off the excess. So you kind of need that, it, it helps the sauce adhere and it tastes better. So, yeah, I did my dishes. So, I like to eat my everything out of this bowl. I should have bought like a bazillion, but it was when Zeller's was closing, and that's how. Yep, it's. I've had it for a very long time, people. Um, I don't know. That's just the perfect thing. So, this is my spaghetti sauce. It smells great. And I, I do have, you know, my. Containers for freezing. Now I know I'm gonna need more than this, but my question is right now Where do all the containers go? Like how do I lose them? I don't have a significant other or children that bring them to work or school You know for lunch and forget them behind. I Don't have a lunch at my work. You know my that's not the hours that I work at. Where do they go? I think they go to the same place that lost socks go. They're in cahoots. I don't know. But I'm super happy. And this looks so yummy. 